Hello lovely people and welcome to today's video and in today's video I am going to talk you through how I went about doing this traditional Robin watercolour painting as well as a bit of chat about my weird art week. So first of all the painting, um, my aim for this painting today was just to do a very traditional simple not complicated little Robin and I was going to use my watercolours and all the items that I'm going to use I'll put in the description box so we won't go into those now but my aim was just to do a very simple watercolour robin in the same style that I used to do when I was at school so that was more sort of the wet on dry technique and working watercolour in light layers so building up gradually until you get the details and the colours and the depths that you want so I started off with a pencil outline and then as I said I just went in and put in a light wash with the grey that you can see that I began with and also a sort of a very pale, um, I guess it was sort of more of a brownie orangey colour for the area under his belly and on his wings. I also put in a light layer on the branch that he was standing on. And the branch that I did later on was the wet in wet technique and as I said the robin itself I did more in the wet on dry and that was because I was aiming to do like a little bit more fine detail and a bit more of a realistic robin with all the sort of detailed feathers and that kind of thing. So I started off by building up um, slowly and just concentrating on the wing at the moment and just starting off with a slightly darker colours as I go through I get darker and darker until I've got the depth of the colour that I want to use and I use a really fine brush this time because that really enabled me to get into the details of the feathers and I used really sort of short brush strokes as well I didn't just go in with flat colour and that was to try and get it to look more feathery and more realistic. And when I started off with the orange of the robin's chest, I started off with a fairly light layer and that was just to see because I didn't know how um, dark I would need to go and gradually with this process I can work darker as I build up the rest of the painting and look at the contrast between the different areas and also you'll notice later on when I do the branch that you're standing on I also then go in and do a little bit darker on some areas of the robin and that's just to balance it out and make sure that it looks even. So my weird art week then, well it's been a strange week so far as my art's concerned anyway because once I'd actually finished this piece I thought it was okay and it I didn't have any major disasters or anything like that and it turned out looking like a robin and there were bits of it that I really liked and bits of it that I didn't and that's quite normal and I like to sort of self critique my own work afterwards and that just um, helps me to know what I can do better next time or things that I liked that I can use next time and things that I wasn't so happy with that I know I've maybe got to work on or leave out next time. But the weird thing was after I'd finished doing this painting I looked at it and it kind of fulfilled my aim, it was a simple robin picture and I didn't want to over complicate it with branches or leaves or anything like that because I just wanted him to stand out and be the main feature just sitting on his branch. But when I finished it I just thought it looked a bit unexciting and that was strange because it's the way I always used to work and I think it's mostly that recently I've been looking at different artists, different art styles, trying out different things. So I've been trying the negative painting technique that I did with the flamingo and also when I did my Inktober pieces I was using um, a looser technique and using with a different medium that I wasn't really used to I guess so it was all quite different to the style that I used to do 
So that kind of made me start thinking about art style. And there are lots of videos and information on YouTube about art style, what is it and how do you find it and suggestions of videos that um, say, you know, find your art style. And that kind of got me thinking because I don't think there is going to be like a specific day or time that you suddenly shout out, I found it, I found my art style because I'm not sure it works like that and I think it's a gradual process and I think it's also dependent on what sort of things influence you, what sort of things you like and what you don't like. So obviously you're more likely to be drawing like subject matter that you like. So if you like animals as I do or if you like still lifes or if you like portraits you're more likely to draw the things you like and you're obviously more likely to draw things that you like in paintings that you see. So if you particularly like Van Gogh style or if you particularly there's a YouTuber that you like their style you're more likely to try and put some of that in your work than if you see something that you don't like so that's obvious so the other thing is is that obviously when I did the panda painting for my October month um, in October and I can link the video here if you haven't seen it um, I kind of tried out a different style there and that was all quite new to me but I did actually in the end think it was quite fun and I liked the looseness and I liked the fact that it was a lot quicker and it was something that I guess I don't know art style to me what does it mean it kind of means to me that if you look at a painting you can usually tell who's painted it if you're a fan of that artist for example so me drawing this little Robin here as sweet as he is and he turned out fine it doesn't particularly speak to me of a particular artist and I don't know that I've put my style whatever that is into this piece so having said that I do think as I say that your style will just generally develop over time depending on what you watch what you like and also it will depend on the medium that you're working with and whether it lends itself to different techniques that you've seen others do so for example with the panda painting I kind of made it a bit looser and I did lots of splatters and runs and drips and you know some people don't like that and it might not be for you but I don't think I used to like it actually but I'm really tending towards thinking that I like this more sort of individual style that you can actually put your name on something and it can be yours you know it's not just a photorealistic picture that could have been done by anyone it says something about the artist that created it so the other thing I was gonna say see my mum looked at my panda painting and and she said oh yeah it's nice you know she said shame the paint ran though and that just makes me laugh because it's actually really nice that everyone's got different styles and different likes and dislikes and <laughs> it still makes me smile thinking about it but I think my art style is changing and obviously it will depending on what sort of things I look at and what I like and what I try and what works and what doesn't and as I say what medium you're using and what sort of thing you like drawing so I think in conclusion I would say to myself as much as anything but to others as well if you're worried about finding your art style I wouldn't stress about it because it's something that's just going to happen over time depending on what you watch and depending on what you like so don't stress about it and there's certainly no rush it will just happen over time and more often than not if you're trying too hard to create something that's stylized or different in a certain way then that's just not going to be naturally your style so I would also say to continue with experimenting with different things because I really enjoy that part of art and I think it's really good to try new things and you know that gives you a chance to figure out what you like and what you don't like and basically enjoy the process because at the end of the day 
art is for enjoying and the whole process should be fun. So even if you create a piece of work that you think's got something missing, then you know you can take something from that, you can learn from it and you can try again next time and do something slightly different. So enjoy the process because it's exciting and I am actually really looking forward to my style developing rather than putting myself under a lot of stress and saying oh I must find my art style you know it's gonna come to you you're not gonna have to find it it will just happen so yeah enjoy the ride enjoy the journey so anyway on to the thing that I did like about this art piece that I created this little robin here strangely enough I did really like the branch that he was sitting on because I used more of a wet in wet technique for this and and it was at this point I just sort of thought, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, I need to get this finished. I'm just gonna do this quickly. And it just kind of really worked well. And so I think, you know, less stress, less being meticulous about things. And sometimes really good things happen. And I just really liked the way that all the colors blended together and created this sort of branch-like texture without me actually having to do an awful lot of work at all. So that was the one thing I really did like about this painting. And yeah, I mean, the robin's quite cute too. But as I said, I just think maybe for me next time what I would do, I might add some background or make it a little bit different or a little bit looser rather than just aiming for the photorealistic effect. So right at the end here, as I said um, in the beginning, when I'd finished the branch, I did go in because of the, the quite the dark colour that it was, I put in a darker sort of glaze over the grey areas of the feathers. But the good thing about watercolour is that because it's transparent, you can do this and still not lose the detail underneath. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this painting and my little rant chit chat and hopefully you will subscribe and come along and join me next week for another video. Thanks for watching guys, bye.